I am a firm believer that that's why we're we're in the cancel culture era because we care so much about other people's feelings that we just don't have the common sense to be upfront with each other. Mm-hmm. We are so worried about how the next person feels and who am I going to offend and who's going to get offended and oh my god. Yeah. Forget about all that, man. Sometimes the truth is the truth. It doesn't matter who gets mm-hmm. offended, you know? The truth is undeniable, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. It's Yeah, it's, people today they value being nice over being honest. Mm, there you wow. go. Wow. Wow, dude. Yeah, man. <laughs> hey, man that's, a, that's right there. That's a quote. That's a, that's quote. a quote. That's a good quote. That was quote. an urgency yeah. a lot just to feel right. <sighs> wow. It's you true. Gotta, you gotta Damn. Facts. Oh, it's just every t- like, ever since like, I don't know, what, 2014, 2015, it's just slowly increasing, increasing. Yeah. Increasing, to a point yeah, where yeah. now it's, if you feel it's have a way, you have to worry about how other people react to what you can say, you know, mm-hmm. or feel. And even if it's mm-hmm. not, it doesn't have to be the most extremist thing. You just, oh, this is how I feel. You know, it could be mm-hmm. a, actually a, a popular opinion of two opinions, right? Correct. And then yeah. just because you're the on the polar opposite, you completely lose that, that mm-hmm. you know, s- yourself to that person. Mm-hmm. And then it's just, oh, I, I don't really, you don't, you don't exist to me anymore. It's Correct. like, how? That actually happened with, like, people I know, with my sister and my mom, mm-hmm. where it's just a political disagreement. It wasn't anything crazy. It was just, oh, I don't really... You know, see your your point of this, and okay, let's just say so people didn't talk for six months, which is crazy to me. Yeah. It's like, yo, how wow. you not talk? To that's your, insane. You're not gonna talk to your exact months. That's, that's what this climate has done, though. It's been, and and Plus family Kevin Kevin knows exactly what I'm talking about because mm-hmm. he's Cuban, like me. That's what happened in Cuba. That 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 ideology and those people who were trying to divide <laughs> and conquer got in people's brains, 100%. and they made you pick ideology over blood, dude. Yeah. Wow! They make you pick it. it did, it's so brainwashed that you have brothers, sisters, fathers, mothers snitching on their family members, telling, saying, "Oh, this person's doing this." Day. Yeah, yeah it's called the committee. Oh my god! In Cuba, oh you have the, the people who are communists. They go to their their little neighborhood committee and they're like, "Hey, so my brother, I don't know if you know this, but everything is illegal in Cuba. Mm-hmm. Everything <laughs> is illegal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is illegal. Hey, yeah. my brother, my brother's selling red meat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then guess what? They got Wait, nothing. Y- you can't have red meat." In you Cuba? can't you can't own red meat. You can't Cuba. eat red meat. Wow. Yeah, because the only people who own red meat are, are is the state. So no, no, no. if you got red meat, it's because you killed one of the cows. And guess what? That's state property. Wow. You get more time in jail in Cuba for killing a cow than you do do for killing a man. You'll get fifteen years probably for killing a cow. You've got ten for killing a person. That's fucked. There we are. And and going back to what you guys were so astonished about, that's mm-hmm. what happens in Cuba. They, this ideology got in their brains, and it made them pick ideology over blood. Like, literally anything that they thought was going wrong, they went and snitched on a family member. It's crazy. And that's what I saw during this whole past four, five, six years. That that's, this, that's crazy. It's stupid. You see brothers, sisters, family members, cousins get in these disagreements, right, and not talk for six months. Why am I going to argue about some political figure that I'm never going to meet that's going to make no difference in my <laughs> yeah. life yeah. and I'm going to get in a fight with my cousin that I've known since I was born? No, man. But, that's pe- but people make you believe that that's, that's how that's, <sighs> those that things give me memes. Are important. Those things give me memes were, were like the cousin <laughs> yeah. like, with yeah. the uncle or whatever. The crazy like, uncle. No, that's that like, everyone just, and then it goes from, oh, happy family. Like, yo, what the f-? Like yeah. Just yeah. Shit. yeah, bro. And it's like, oh, they flip the table. There goes the turkey. Oh my god! There goes the stuffing. You know, all over the <laughs> yeah. floor. Yeah, man. It's wow. it's it's yeah. A, people it's a have that mentality of like us versus them. And to yeah. circle back to what you said earlier, what people need to realize is that at the end of the day, we're all human. You yeah. know, it's like you were talking about. The only thing that's different is you know where we are and what language we speak. But people are very similar, and I feel like if uh, <laughs> if you really take the time to you know, listen more than like you, you speak and want to oh be right. right. God, man, that's, that's, you have two right ears there. and one yeah, mouth. Yeah. Use well, it exactly, in the right proportion. That's exactly what he's saying, man. If, if you take the time to listen more than you speak, you're going to become a, 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 just an intelligent and also a well-rounded person. You're mm. able, cause a lot of people don't listen, man. How many calls have you guys gotten on where you said nothing? And by the end of four <laughs> minutes, that guy's like, man, I'm going to do business with you. I really like you, man. And oh Yeah. <laughs> It's happened to me all the time. You just let people talk. You let them talk, That's and you let them need. talk, and you let them talk. I'm and like, by the end of it, you're just like, so when are you going to pass by? You know what? Something just cleared up. I'm going to pass by in like two hours. I like you. Do I ask for you? I want to see you. I only want to yeah. deal with... It's so funny. Yeah. Oh, Nelson, have you ever made a friend like... You know, have you ever had people that say they're your best friend, and you don't even speak? You're just like... 
They're talking, 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 talking. You don't say a word. Yeah, people yeah. will tell like, you their like, yeah, whole yeah. life I feel like story. I can connect with you, and you don't even you don't even share anything about yeah. yourself. You know, I'm waiting for that one call at the end of like ten minutes of them telling me everything going on. I'm gonna be like, sir, you don't need a car. You need a therapist. <laughs> 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 By the way, I, Aaron had just started a side business. It's called you know Aaron Therapeutics. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Aaron Therapeutics. <laughs> with those um, chairs, I'm gonna need it. Like, oh, oh, I feel no, bad. <laughs> Oh, Aaron, I feel so bad. I feel depressed. Just stop. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> no, yeah, no, no. It is. no man. No. Yeah. You now you hope out. <laughs> <laughs> You'll feel better at a GMC. That's yeah. funny. Uh, yeah, yeah, man. It's uh so yeah, that's that's why I love what we do. You learn so much about people. Yeah. You learn so much about yourself, right? Mm -hmm. Because we face a lot of obstacles, a lot of difficulty. So you learn a lot about how you handle adversity, and that 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 tells you about your character. There's a lot of psychology. A lot of psychology it tells you what you need to work on, right? So, for example, when I first started sales, I had the thinnest skin in the world. I mm -hmm. couldn't take any rejection whatsoever, mm -hmm. and it was I was super sensitive, and I couldn't take it. And it taught me, listen, sometimes things aren't going to work out the way you want them to. Matter yeah. of fact, ninety five percent of the time they're not going to work out the way you want them to. <laughs> That's true, called man. life. So you need to figure it out, pull your big pants up, you're a big boy, adjust. stop complaining, adjust, find a new plan, and execute. And if that doesn't work, guess what? Go back to the drawing board, erase, read, and just do it again and again until it works out. Insanity is doing the same thing again and again and again, expecting a different result, right? So that's what sales taught me at a young age. I don't know if you, you guys know this about me. I started sales straight out of high school. I was 18 years old. Oh, wow. Straight out of high school. I started my, I opened up a little, I got licensed in telecommunication services and George, George from work. That's what, yeah. that's how we met. We were both in, involved in the same industry and both of us were just two super broke teenage kids with a dream of making big money. And we went out there and that sales turned us into men. We went in there as little boys <laughs> and we came out men. We learned how to speak to people. We learned how to communicate. We learned how to carry ourselves. We learned how to dress. Everything you needed to learn as a man that converts you from a little boy into a young man, we learned in sales, man. And what do you, I mean, that's, that's amazing. And I feel like that's one of the biggest issues too with modern society is that a lot of, a lot of young, young men aren't, they're not able to actually be men anymore. Mm. Like, you know, you don't have those, I feel like you don't have those because you need to figures face or, or, or not even, or adversities. Yeah. You need to face, you need to face difficulty to become yeah, a man. Exactly. I mean, when I was. I mean, I, I hate to bring it back to boot camp, but um, when I was when I was in the military, man, I, I mean, I was a child, you know, and and getting out of there, you, you it's the first time you actually feel like a man, mm. you know. Angel, you want to know why? You want to know why that why we have this problem now that's happening like more? It's because society is telling us what is a man, what makes you a man. Mm -hmm. Well, you can anything can be a man, so that's why we're going. You know, we're we're coming that's out of high not school. True. Yeah. I agree. I think there is a certain answer. Like, oh no, this mm -hmm. is a man, but. Because everything's again go back to like oh no everything's a possibility. Yeah, it's like now it's like okay that's sure there are some things that are possibilities. Course, yeah. But at the end of the day, there's also tried and true things that mm -hmm. work and are just facts. Yeah. Right. So then when they when you know a lot of people nowadays, a lot of men nowadays, let's not say no, a lot of boys nowadays try to become men. Mm. You get kind of stuck in this like again matrix where you're hearing all these different voices and you get stuck in a bubble and it's just yeah. a bubble of oh no you don't have to be that it's that, an that. echo chamber exactly yeah. he brings it's an yeah. echo chamber yeah, yeah it's a, it's a that's good a fantastic point. point yeah fantastic point i think so me personally that's more than anything i faced so much adversity as a teenage kid that by the time i was in my mid-20s i was a grown-ass man dude Grown ass man, not to offend anybody here, but I started selling when you guys were still probably like in middle school. Of course, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. So nowadays when you see me working and, and I hop in there and I'm working hard and I have the numbers I have, it's not because I'm really good at what, I, well, I'm, yeah, I'm good at what I do, but that's not, <laughs> that's not the main thing. The main thing is it's, ex, it's experience, brother. Of course. It, I've dealt with so, I've dealt with tens of thousands of people in sales, mm -hmm. tens of thousands. And it just it's a muscle you know what i mean it's of course it's an experience but also it's also being able to have other qualities too because mm. i mean there's people that work sales their entire lives and they're still not good because they, <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know? i mean i, the same I feel thing over like over you know man maybe this is just me but like my uh like my dad used to do sales and my even my grandfather used to do sales but when i say sales 
I don't mean come into the office and like do it on a computer. No, my my grandpa from Argentina, mm -hmm. he used to uh, go to um, uh, on like the streets and he used to buy like uh, shirts. You know, he would buy like let's say like a hundred shirts for like a dollar each. And then he would go and, and flip them for like $2 each, you know, and like five here, two here, 10 here, you know, three there. And even my dad, like, you know, my family, we, we used to have a lot of money when we were in Argentina, but then, um, you know, we, uh, well, this is before I was born. They moved to Los Angeles from Argentina and, you know, they didn't speak the language. They didn't know anybody. Right. They mm -hmm. lost everything. You know, they had nothing. My, my dad, he had, you know, maybe like a hundred dollars and a family of five to feed. And that was it. You know, they didn't have anything else. And it, he ended up doing the same thing. He was buying clothes and he used to sell them one at a time until, you know, eventually he was able to, uh, uh the reason why clothes is because they, they used to have a lot of, uh, big clothing stores back in Argentina, mm -hmm. back in the day. Uh, it was called La Tienda de los Locos. Oh, <laughs> nice. And, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, I was just talking with my dad the other day and he said, you know, if you would have told me like 20 years ago that I would own a house and, uh, you know, I'd have a BMW and my wife has a Mercedes and my kid has a BMW, I'd yeah. be like, you're, you're fucking crazy, you know? <laughs> but really it goes to show that the hard work does pay off, mm. you know? 100%. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's so true. I mean, and I think that's, the, that's really what it, it means to be a man, right? It's, it's kind of like going through those struggles. Yeah. Going through those adversities. Trials so, and tribulations. Exactly. Um, it's it's not easy, right? Because I mean, people tell you that oh, as you grow, you're gonna be a man, but it's really not about grow. I mean, I've there's points of people that that are twenty twenty something and they're still not men. Mm. It really is about those those situational, you know, experiences. Let me ask you a question mm. to like maybe to some of the people that are watching. What advice would you give to someone that wants to become a man? Mm -hmm. You know, like I, I mean, you know, be be who you are, but also you. I think it's really about challenging yourself. Put yourself in difficult situations. Yeah, put that's, your, that's the truth. Yeah. Challenge Pur yourself. Purposely put challenge yourself yourself. in difficult yeah. situations. Mm -hmm. Go try to get a six pack. Mm -hmm. You know, go for, get, get in sales. If you want a career, get into yeah. sales. There's no, there's nothing like it. The income potential is there's, it's limitless. There's no, there's no top. You, yeah. Like there's, you can literally go anywhere in the world and make money. Mm -hmm. There's no career like it. I don't, we get paid a lot of money. We're the, we're the top paid career in the it's world. It's the most important career in any company. Career, Every company, 100%. even charities, mm -hmm. you need to call people to be able to donate for your cause. Yeah, Everything that's, needs sales. That's also the, yeah. That's also another aspect that I that I think you know going off of what you said. You yeah. know, what what somebody sh you know should do if they want to become a man is to make, take your own path. Mm. Mm -hmm. You know. Um, yeah. There's a lot of a lot of people in society that tell you you know you have to go to school you have to be a lawyer you have to be a, a doctor and, and the reality is just not true right mm. I mean you you have to do what it is that you're meant to do correct and and you learn that by facing adversity correct right and by no trying other way. a lot of shit yeah by going through yeah. things you know because you're not you're not gonna know who you are unless you challenge yourself and be like okay well I wasn't very good at that oh I'm at this spot but now I'm I'm actually kind of good at this so let me mm -hmm. try to, you know, pick at this so I could get to the point where I'm like, okay, well, I think I can do this. I actually have I a spot like here. You also have to try to do it with the right mentality, though, because some people will try to do it with the wrong mentality because I've seen a lot of people who they try to be great mm -hmm. due to, uh, but using a selfish mentality of like, oh, I'm better than you because no. I'm a narcissist or whatever. Mm -hmm. And that like maybe in the in like the short run, it could lead you to some success. But in the long run, you're just going to burn all bridges and you're mm -hmm. just going to crash and collapse. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you do it. With the mindset of, all right, I care about myself. I want to put myself in these certain situations, and I want to, I want to bloom in these situations step by step, day by day, with the persistence, with the consistency. I'll get to where I want to go, and also enjoying the journey. Because if you don't enjoy the journey, you're not going to get anywhere. Yeah. No, so going hand in hand with that, it's so put yourself in difficult situations and have long term goals. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because having the long term goal is what's going to develop you, right? Mm -hmm. Because as long as you stay in the game, the game of a career, the game of getting fit, the game of finding a significant other, yeah. the game of spirituality, whatever game it is you want to play, which I'm playing all of them, but mm -hmm. um, <laughs> yeah, no, it's, 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 life, life awesome. is multifaceted. You have different things you want to go after in life, right? So me personally, it's putting yourself in that difficult situation and setting a long-term goal because I know longevity builds credibility, right? So as long as I stay in that game, I'm going to develop the skills. What happens if everyone quits the football team? I become captain by default. 
That and that's life. That's anything. That's any endeavor. You got to have the tenacity and the long term vision in whatever you choose to do. I don't care what it is. You could, you know, for us specifically, it's sales. The sky's the limit for us, dude. You know what I mean? I mean, I know you guys know who Grant Cardone is. Yes, yes. of course. He Obviously, started off yeah. in car sales. Yeah, yeah, he did. As a car salesman, he saved up money for five years, and that's how he bought his first real estate property. You know what I did when I first started working sales? I mean, it wasn't, you know, I, it was this year, but I looked every at every, like, live speaker that worked mm. sales and, and anything that... Is Most any, of them started in sales. Yeah, and everybody that kind of has a... Anybody that has the ability to communicate and speak mm. right, Yeah, probably was in sales because that's what sales is, right? 